School football spring practice in full swing and tonight we continue 33 teams in 33 days. Our month long behind the scenes look at practice all along the Gulf Coast. We are checking in with Spanish Fort, the traditional powerhouse program, hoping to make a deep playoff run this year as Chase Smith enters his second season as the Toros head coach. He elected to go with skill development style practice this spring. That means no helmet or pads and the team will get an early start this fall. Now the Toros were third in 6A Region 1 last season, arguably the toughest region region in the state in there with Sarah Land and Theodore. Coach tells us Spanish Fort has a solid group of senior leaders coming back this year and spring practice has given them the opportunity to get back to the basics. And that's what we've been doing this year. We're opting to uh, start the fall a little early so uh, the kids have really honed in and, and, and really dug in and we're getting maximum effort, maximum uh, development out here, which is what you want. Always wanted to do is every kid on this roster is going to be evaluated and taken through offensive, really offensive skill development, whether they are predominantly a defensive player. Even our quarterbacks learn how to properly tackle, learn how to pursue the ball the correct way. Then we flip. Every single person on our roster is going to learn how to block properly, how to block in space, things like that. Just going back to the fundamentals of football. Our biggest thing is, is we're focusing on us and building a culture of competition, our standard, our work ethic. And it's been a great offseason of leadership development and just really building a culture of competition. And here's a look at the top guys returning for the Toros. The leader on the defense, Cole McConathy, a three-star prospect with several Power 5 offers. Seniors Reed Blackman and Blake Smith will be a big part of the Toros' leadership on the field this year. These guys excited to get back to work this spring. It's always great getting better with the guys and working on winning some ball games in the fall. Personally, I hope to improve my overall game awareness and situational awareness in the game. It's really exciting, you know, this is a great time to develop, so I'm just excited to be here. Improve my craft and just get better every day and just get better work ethic and everything like that. It's a lot of work in the summer, you know, we're going to get to running, so it's going to get stressful, but you just got to push through it because it's all going to be great in the end. Spanish Fort will open region play week three against the reigning 6A state champs, Sarah Land, that's on September 15th. 